Dr. Trimble, what is a nasal turbinate? Nasal turbinates are the structures in the nose that are responsible for warming and humidifying air. They basically uh, help the, the nose serve as a filter. And so the inferior turbinate that you see here is the one that when it becomes too large, either from inflammation, from allergies, non-allergic irritants, etc., that isn't resolved with medical therapy, that will block off the nose. What is a turbinate reduction? So when the turbinates don't respond to medical therapy, allergy treatment, etc., a turbinate reduction is a way to reduce the size of the inferior turbinate so that someone can actually breathe through their nose. A lot of times people have trouble breathing through their nose at night. That's why they wake up tired, that's why they snore, and that's why they can eventually develop sleep apnea. And so the way that we do an inferior turbinate reduction is we typically do it in the office, even though we can do it in the operating room. Uh, we use this little tiny debrider blade. And so if you focus on there, it's a two millimeter debrider blade. And so what we do is we make a little, uh, a little stab incision uh, at the end of the inferior terminate. And then of course, we're gonna insert the blade underneath. And we're basically gonna treat the turbinate uh, from the front all the way to the back. By doing so, we basically do like a liposuction on the inferior turbinate to shrink the structure up so that the patient can breathe. How long is a turbinate reduction? Well, an inferior turbinate reduction takes about 10 to 15 minutes uh, in the office. Often we also uh, do it with other uh, sinus procedures, and of course those can take longer. Uh, but yeah, usually about 10 to 15 minutes. And can patients attend work the next day? Patients typically can go back to normal activities uh, the next day. So there's really no downtime as far as recovery. And how long does it last? The effects of the turbinate reduction? Yes. So once the turbinates have re been reduced, the areas that are reduced will always stay that way. However, the nose is an area that can always swell. So there's always gonna be turbinate tissue that's left behind. Uh, that can always become congested over time. That's why I always tell people if you live uh, in an environment such as we live in here, it's very important to make sure that you stay on your topical nasal steroid spray over time. Star from what I understand. Uh, so what are we doing here? We're doing uh, inferior turbinate reduction with a uh, millimeter micro debrider blade uh, it's like a liposuction on the terminal so this. this lovely patient breathes better.